It's just after 10 on a Wednesday morning. Normally, the Ayers children would be in separate classrooms learning from different no. teachers in Oxford schools. Instead, they're all together at their dining room table listening to the same teacher, their mom, Dawn. Uh, my husband had been a teacher for 12 years. He was very pro-public school and very anti-homeschooling. Um, until our girls were almost ready for kindergarten. They made a lot of changes in the school system that year that we didn't feel were best for the children. And then uh, he changed jobs. He got out of teaching and went to a sales job and happened to be on the road with a homeschool father and was able to talk to him a lot and learn a lot about it. And so we really felt like God placed all of those scenarios in line for us to decide to homeschool. The Ayers family is part of a growing trend of families taking their kids' education into their own hands. The National Home Education Research Institute reports 2 million homeschooled children in the U.S., a figure that's growing by 10 percent each year. And they're connecting with one another. Dawn's family takes part in a classical conversations program each Monday. The program brings six homeschooling families from the Oxford area together to learn the basics. Well, it's great because it's kind of like halfway homeschooling, halfway like with school. So it's kind of like you have the best of both worlds. So on Monday they're in like the classroom set on, setting and have music and art and you know science experiments and stuff. But then the rest of the week we can do the homeschooling stuff at home. Classical Conversations is a nationwide program. Dawn founded the Oxford chapter when she moved here in June. According to its catalog, the program specializes in memory work and teaching students the basics. Dawn is certain about the benefits of homeschooling. When we go to a museum, when we go on field trips, when we go on family vacations, I can integrate what they've been learning at school, and then I can also integrate the subjects of when we're talking in science. Remember in um, history when we read about this man and this happened and then the timeline and it all just works together and I think it makes a bigger picture for them that we're, we don't live in small little boxes that everything's all integrated together. That approach appears to be working. A recent study by education expert Dr. Brian Ray finds that homeschoolers score higher than their public school peers in every subject area. That fact makes the hard days worth it for Dawn. No, I, uh, my most common comment from moms is, uh, you know, I just don't know how you do that, and, and I wish I could homeschool. And, and it's not easy. It's, I don't do it because it's an easy thing. I put in all the hard work and the hours and the blood, the sweat, and the tears of, of raising them, and I didn't want a, somebody else to go enjoy the fruit of all of that of when they had come to the point that they were fun to be around. She's just one mom producing uncommon results through unconventional methods. For Newswatch, this is Amanda Huff, Tyler Clemens, and Ben Presley.